It went by so quickly, of course, with the pandemic. We had a year and a half where it was very just different, but now we're here and we're ready to be done. And I'm excited for that journey, but I'm also sad to kind of leave this high school of my home behind. Hi, my name is Dia Ja. I take classes at Hood College and so kind of staying connected with TJ High School while taking those college classes was definitely something I had to balance. I'm a part of many clubs here at TJ including being president of NHS and Math Honor Society so making sure that I knew what was going on with the students, what's going on at TJ while taking those college level courses was something I really had to learn to balance especially only being 17 years old and having to do that. Um, outside of academics, sports wise, I'm a three season athlete. I do golf, swim and tennis and outside of school I do Taekwondo, so I'm a second degree black belt and instructor at the studio that I go to, which has been such a fun experience getting to work with the young kids there. I am also a Girl Scout, so I had earned my Girl Scout Gold Award for implementing a community change project. And I'm a 2022 Bezos Scholar where I implemented a program called Let's Talk, which stands for Teach, Access, Learn Choice, and it's an opioid prevention program we have here at TJ to just kind of provide positive stress coping mechanisms rather than turning towards opioids to use that. Time management has something that I've had to work on over the years and realize everything that I do, I'm passionate about it and I love it. So listing it off, it does sound like a lot, but I do it because it's what makes me me and I only do things that I love and I can give 110% effort to. For me, my definition of success is if I've gone through a whole day and I've learned something new that I didn't know before in any aspect of life, I feel successful. I've gained more knowledge, I've learned something, I've grown as a person. And it just kind of depends on what each person is doing. Whether you do something and it works out the way you want or doesn't, if you've learned something in that experience and grown from it, that is success. I just can't believe it's here. I mean, this year has just been incredible and it's a roller coaster of emotions. I mean, I still remember freshman year coming to this high school and being so surprised with the amount of students walking through the halls, like the journey I was on. I was not prepared for the class load at all either. And that's one thing also to like, know, people aren't exactly what they seem. I came into high school being below average in math and I was able to grow my understanding over the year to now take college level classes. And I think it's really important for any freshman coming into high school and nervous about where they're gonna go, not sure what they wanna do. Just work hard, find what you love and just be passionate about what you do. I think that's important and that'll make you successful in your own definition. Definitely when you're struggling with procrastination or saying, I don't want to do this, I don't want to work hard and continue with this, see yourself as if you're talking to your six-year-old self and then your 60-year-old self and see if you're happy in those positions. I think it's very important to have that balance of seeing this is where I was growing up and now I'm here, but how do I get to the next point in my life? I'm so grateful to my mom, stepdad, and sister for being the support system that helped me navigate my way through high school, the college application process, and everything. And I definitely would not have gotten here without their support. And then also our school, our staff here. I mean, I communicated to Ms. Kibler, my counselors, my teachers, what I needed from them, and they were able to help me get to where I am today. I haven't committed yet, but I'm deciding between Harvard, Yale, and Stanford. I just came back from Yale last night and I'm really leaning towards there. It's a great community of people. It's close to home. I'm very family oriented and it just kind of has everything I want. And after college, I hope to kind of go to law school and pursue a career as being a lawyer and making a difference in people's lives. I'd also love to be in a position where I can give back to high school students and kind of help them navigate their way through high school. This is such a transformational period of our lives from being 14 year olds when we enter to 18 when we graduate. That's such a long period of time when we're learning and growing and I'd love to help make a difference in people's lives.